I did, I tried, and I, I thought this was very important, and I cared about this very much. I, I didn't want the column just to be about yuppies, and I didn't want it just to be Brownstone Brooklyn, and I just didn't want it to be people who worked in finance and had very comfortable salaries. I really wanted, this was very, very important to me, I really wanted it to reflect the variety of the city, the, the economic variety, especially in a, in a time of, of widening economic groups, and the ethnic variety, because New York is such a multi-ethnic city, and I think we sometimes forget get that because sometimes people of different ethnic groups live in, in, in remote neighborhoods and you don't you know you don't know what the Mexican neighborhood is or the Korean neighborhood or the, the Pakistani neighborhood. So I thought that that was very, very important and I wanted to also reflect different different kinds of, of housing. I, I wrote about people who lived in mansions, I wrote about people who lived in public housing, I wrote about people who lived in tenements, I wrote about people who lived in, in little houses far, far away, and not all were, very many were not, in fact, architecturally distinguished or, or impressive in terms of design, but they, uh, I think as a group, the benefit of the book is that if you if taken as a whole, you, you read the 40 columns and they, they give you a bird's eye view of the variety of the city.